We're here at the annual St. Helens Harvest Festival, which is at historic Dodger Town. Let's go inside and see if we can lose ourselves in the cotton candy bin. We're here with David Mayer, the chairman of the St. Helens Harvest Festival. David, this is a great setup. What's the preparation like? Oh, I'll tell you what the preparation is. We've had 30, 40, and 50 volunteers per night for the last 13 days, putting in over 50 hours to set this all up. And this is set up, except for the rides, of course, which are done professionally by Degler Attractions <laughs> of Stewart. And, um, but the parishioners of St. Helen and friends of St. Helen's Church have put this all up. This is our 45th anniversary of this fair. I wasn't here for the first one, even though people <laughs> might tell you that. And, uh, you know, the, we pack all this away in a few tractor trailers, and every year we take it out, and people put this up, and it's amazing to see. It, well, David, uh, thank you so much. Are there any rides you're particularly excited to ride? Well, like I said, well, I'm not a big ride person. I no? like to watch, ah. eat, and, eat and watch, you know, and play I the games. I, I, but uh, that helicopter looks pretty interesting. I don't know what it does. I'm excited and, for the teacups. Oh, it, the teacups, yeah. But that's round and round and round. We have rides for all ages. I mean, for children, for teenagers, and for adults. You can come here. It's free parking, free admission. You don't have to spend a dime. You can walk through beautiful, historic Dodger Town here and have a wonderful day under the stars tonight or tomorrow night or you can come out saturday or sunday in the sun it's beautiful this is great american family fun under the sun please come out we're here with sharon white sharon will you tell me what this contraption is this is called the donkey hump oh. no excuse me it's a camel hump <laughs> what's the purpose of it you have to roll the ball over but it cannot come back can I try? Sure. Let the ball come back. This is rigged. Be careful. That might do it. Did you know we were going up this high? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what ride are you guys getting ready to go on? Well, I'm gonna go well, on Super Shot. Yeah. 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 Oh, that? Yeah. I just went on that, it's terrifying. Yes. Oh, I went really? like four times yeah. last Love year. that ride. I'm still shaking, you, actually. You go up really, really high, and then and you drop down really, really fast. <laughs> it's supposed to be like that. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, we're going That will be the last ride we're going on tonight. We went around a few few too many times. This happens to be one of Degler's newest attractions. Will you explain the rules of the cakewalk? I think it's a quarter per seat, and once all the seats are sold, then they draw a prize, draw a number, and they win a cake. Oh, okay, so whoever gets, okay, I got you. So it's time. easy as one, two, three. Okay, perfect, thank you. My name is Rosemary Hatch, and I've been in St. Helens since I was a kid here. And um, when we started this, the first year I, I had some problems and I couldn't help out, but after that, I've been here every year. All right, how you doing? We're at the Harvest Festival. We're at our 40, I think it's 45th. We started in the middle 60s with Father Hugh Flynn. Wanted to bring everybody together, make a few bucks originally just for the school. We started out on the parish grounds and it kept growing and growing and growing. And then in the, uh, the early 70s, Charlie Blaney was uh, the manager out here with the Dodgers. And he set it up for us to come out here. And uh, for the first couple of years, we did it out in the outfield. And then we brought it to this street 
uh, Dodger Town Street, which created a midway effect, and it's been great. You see so many rides, you see so many boots. You see, uh, we estimate 25 to 30,000 people come through this thing over four days and nights, and uh, the whole parish comes alive working on it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I definitely have a vested interest since I'm the principal of the school, and uh, the proceeds do go to help all the ministries at the parish, not just the school, but the school benefits greatly from it. This is Tom Bartolucci, <laughs> he's on our finance committee, and he'll be counting all the money when it's done. So it's you a need great to, organization. It is, <laughs> yes, it is. So anyway, if you haven't gotten out here yet, if you're seeing this while there's still time, please come out. If not, mark it on your calendar next year. It'll be the weekend before Thanksgiving. And outside of Vero Beach, going to state playoffs, it's the best thing in town. We're here with Richard Schlitt. Richard, what's going on back behind oh, me? Oh, wow. I have my very special soup I'm cooking right now, chicken corn chowder. Don't show them too much back there because it's a secret ingredient. <laughs> and it's one of the best chicken corn chowder people have ever had. You won't tell anyone the ingredients? Well, I will for price. Oh, but so far, no one's came up with that price. But <laughs> we have a lot of healthy food. We have, you know, sometimes we have lots of Whoa, did you best. say healthy? Healthy food, yes. All my soups are healthy. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got my mom's vegetable beef. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. And then I have, I have some soup from Kayla. I mean, she has made some wonderful soups this year for us. So you're going to have to come back tomorrow night. It's not here tonight. It's not here tonight? Friday night. We have some two special soups that are just tremendous. Come back. Keep coming back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We had a great time at the Harvest Festival. Come on out. It's going on from November 19th through the 22nd. I'm Charlotte Tripson with PlanetVero.com.